special friend Scott today, and Scott works with BMPs and stormwater. Stormwater is how we define the rain that hits the pavement, so any rain that has been in contact with a human-made surface. You all will notice we're all wearing yellow because we're super safe. We're right next to the road and we want to make sure we're being seen by vehicles. Scott, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so I'm a stormwater compliance officer for the city of Lynchburg. And what I do, I go around and inspect BMPs throughout the city, private and public. What's a BMP? BMP stands for Best Management Practice. Can you tell us what a BMP does? Yes, a BMP controls the runoff coming from the impervious surfaces that's created by the rain when it hits the ground. So Scott, what's so special about this BMP? Well, this BMP is called a bioretention. It's made up of plants and media mix. What it does, it allows for the runoff to come into the Corbe area where the stones are over there, it fills up, then it comes over the wall into this area right here, which is made up of plants and media mix. So what it does, it allows the water to pond six inches, give or take, that's, that's what it's designed for. It allows it to infiltrate into the media mix. The media mix allows it to pull all the nutrients out of the runoff, and then it infiltrates into the ground and, it, and goes into the system. So it acts as kind of a natural filter for anything that might be coming off the road. Yes, Very yes it does. Cool. So what the plants do, they pull, once the water infiltrates, when all the pollutants that sits in the media mix, the root structure of the plants pulls all the nutrients out of it. That's those plants actually like that stuff. Yes, they do. And these, what's special about these plants? These plants are designed to be drought tolerant and or water tolerant. So they're, it's not your everyday plants. They're specifically designed to be in this particular facility. Okay, Scott, we noticed this big pipe coming out of the ground. What's that for? So this big pipe right here is called an inflow pipe. It takes on the water, there's a DI box right above it, where the water runs down the curb into the DI box, comes out of this pipe, into this pipe, and out into the four bay area. That's where your runoff comes into the facility. I noticed you were doing something kind of funny when you were kicking the mulch and then using a probing rod. What yes. were you doing? Yes, so what I was doing with the probing rod, first I was kicking the mulch, because each each bioretention has a specific amount of mulch that needs to be put on top of the media mix as per design. So I was checking the, I was checking the depth of the mulch, make sure it's at least two to three inches of coverage all, all throughout the whole facility. With the probing rod, as you saw, I was poking it through the media mix. I was checking for compaction and I was checking for the depth of the media. Because each bioretention has a specific design of how much media needs to be in there as well to properly work. So the, the media allows for infiltration, right? So it's yes. kind of like a big sponge in the ground. Yes. And so you're just checking to see how spongy it is. Yes, yes. The spongier, the better. Uh, because we want the water, we want to encourage the runoff to infiltrate. We want it to pond and infiltrate into the system. If it's compacted and the water sits on top of the mulch for quite some time, it's not doing its job. We have one more question for you. What can people at home do to help you with these BMPs? So one of the major issues I come across often is I find litter in these facilities. The simplest thing is to do is pick up the trash. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, every splash begins with one drop. We'll see you next time.